Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and today I'm going to show you my first fairly complex Siri shortcut. I was listening to the WPMRR podcast with Joe Howard and Christy Chirinos. Sorry, Christy, if I just pronounced your last name incorrectly. Uh, and they were talking about getting ready for WordCamp US, and Joe specifically was talking about his checklists and everything like that. And it made me think I should probably have a checklist for the amount of travel that I do. Uh, and I want it to be somewhat automated. I've been really big into automations lately. And uh, I really have wanted to dive into Siri shortcuts. As a matter of fact, for my upcoming trip, I have a David Sparks um, Siri shortcuts course queued up on Teachable. But I decided to dive in and really give it a go. So after a little bit of fiddling uh, with Siri shortcuts, I came up with this. So uh, let me first say that if you are an iOS user and you are on iOS 12, you have access to Siri shortcuts. And I won't go through an intro of what Siri shortcuts is, but basically it allows you to automate a set of activities in iOS or in uh, supported apps. So you can kick off these shortcuts by pressing a button or from the share sheet or with your voice. So I'm using OmniFocus for my task management. Uh, I've recently got into that and so I use it basically to just log everything I ever think about and I spend uh, a few minutes each morning kind of organizing those thoughts. My travel uh, information also goes in there. So I do create a new OmniFocus project for each trip and this takes it one step further by, uh, by automating it. So I'm just going to go through this shortcut really quickly, and then I'll show you how it's run. So the first thing I do is I ask for three pieces of input. Uh, the first is the name of the trip, which I assign to a variable trip name. The second is for how long the trip is. Uh, and again, that's assigned a variable, x. I'm very creative. Uh, and then I do some calculations on this variable. Um, one is to divide it by three and then to round it up. I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. And then the next is to add one. So just increment that by one. Uh, and then the last question is when is the trip happening? And again on that I, uh, I do some adjustments and I subtract eight weeks from the provided date. So what I do in here, and I'm just going to copy this and move it into drafts uh, so you can see it a little bit better. So what you can see here is a little bit of a task template using something called task paper. Uh, OmniFocus supports task paper. It's really just a nice kind of stripped down way to create projects and task lists and things like that. And there's its own syntax uh, that I won't jump into really, but I do want to point a couple things out. First, you could see the variable names uh, put in where I need them to be, uh, including the date and the adjusted date. So you could see that I set a due date for the trip, and then I use the adjusted date to set a due date for uh, buying the plane ticket. I usually like to buy my plane ticket about two months before the trip. I find that that's generally when the best pricing happens. Uh, and then I add book hotel, I add pack and then uh, pack is its own task with its own set of subtasks. And uh, that's where some of the math uh, on the number of days comes in. So I pack the t-shirts for the same number of days. Usually I'm going to a conference so I can count on at least getting one shirt there if I need more. Uh, and then uh, my rounded number for the number of jeans. I usually wear the same pair of jeans uh, for three days. And so I take the number of days I'm traveling divided by three and that's how many jeans I need to bring uh, and then I bring one more set of boxers beaters and socks um, and and so you can kind of see how this task paper comes together if we go back to the shortcut you can see uh, that those variables are highlighted so they're a little bit easier to see here and then the last step is add task paper to OmniFocus this is a specific shortcut that OmniFocus adds or donates to the Siri Shortcuts app. And I have this new task paper added to a folder called Trips. If I play this, 
I get a prompt, name of the trip. Let's say WordCamp US 2019. I'll say, okay, how many days? Usually I'm there for five days. I'll say, okay. And then it's gonna ask me when the trip is. And you can see in the background, it's kind of traversing through the steps. Uh, so I'm gonna guess it's going to be around the same time next year. I'll just say December 8th, 2018 and press okay. And then uh, OmniFocus opened. And you can see the result of that shortcut is a link to the task I just created, with, which I can then do something with. If I wanted to take it one step further, I could actually copy this uh, link to the clipboard if I wanted to share it with somebody, but I'm not gonna do that. And then if we go to OmniFocus, you'll see uh, we see a new uh, task there, or a new uh, project for WordCamp US 2019 for five days. And then we can see the math in action, right? So first we have a due date of December 8th. If we look at the plane ticket, we'll see a due date of October 13th, eight weeks before uh, December 8th. And then we'll see the math applied to the things I need to pack. So this is just a really quick way for me to say, oh, I, I, I'm scheduling a new trip. I'm going to add a project to OmniFocus to help me manage that. I'm sure I'll add more to this over time, but I just wanted to show you uh, really quickly this shortcut that I came up with. Um, I will link this shortcut in the description of the video if I can. Uh, otherwise, if you are at WordCamp US 2018 and you want to see it in action, come say hi. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching that video. If you liked it, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content. If you want to learn more about web development or WordPress or anything that I talk about on this channel, you can check out the other video that's linked on this screen, or you can head over to creatorcourses.com to see what online courses I have to offer. Thanks again so much for watching, and until next time, get out there and build something.